So I actually uh, was in the academia for a while. I was a postdoc for about six months at uh, Rutgers University in New Jersey. And, you know, I was working one day and my wife sent me a, a uh, interesting posting for a regulatory fellow at Regeneron. Uh, and, you know, I thought it seemed interesting. They were asking for somebody who wanted to... Um, uh, who wanted to learn more about regulatory, who didn't maybe necessarily have any regulatory experience, uh, but had some of that technical expertise in stability testing, uh, analytical characterization, uh, things like that. So, uh, you know, I applied and, and the rest was kind of history and, I, and it sort of fell into, I fell into it a little bit. You know, I did not expect to be in regulatory affairs by any means. I thought I was going to be working as a postdoc and then maybe, you know, go become an assistant professor or, you know, tenure track, things like that. But Definitely glad that it panned out the way it did. <laughs> so my current role at Regeneron is uh, manager CMC regulatory affairs, and what that involves is maybe you know 60% of that uh, in program support, leading CMC regulatory strategy, um, making sure that the industrial operations and product supply side of the business is able to proceed in compliance with with uh, FDA guidances, uh, and and that we you know meet our you know, uh, our goals in terms of getting drug to market and then, you know, to patient as well. Um, and then the other, you know, part of my role is, is really trying to see where we can improve our processes. So I'm heavily involved in continuous improvement. Uh, I lead, I'm, I'm the representative for continuous improvement within our group. And so a lot of that looks at, you know, looking at processes we have right now that may need to be made more efficient. Uh, we're standardizing other processes that may not have a standard operating procedure uh, that may need to, you know, you need to be formalized and put down on paper so that somebody is able to do it consistently every single time. Yeah. Definitely working in a cross-functional environment and, and making uh, a certain, you know, uh, meeting a certain goal. Um, and maybe, you know, that can be something that has never been done before, so trailblazing. Uh, working with different departments, working with the FDA, working with our industry partners and our CMOs to, you know, to, to reach that final goal that we want um, in the end. I initially got introduced to reps with my interest in taking the regulatory affairs certification. So, you know, I've been I've been part of reps. Uh, you know, Regeneron is an enterprise member, and you know, I, I read the articles. You know, I make you know, I take in the content and everything. So. But uh, definitely exciting to be part of all these. This is such a big organization where so many other people are very passionate about regulatory affairs. You might not meet that kind of a person on, on the street, but here you have about you know a thousand or more people that are really passionate about the field. So, so I, you know, I I have my bachelor's, I have my PhD, um, and all of that is good for the technical expertise and knowledge that I you know that I do have, and it helps contribute to my current role as a manager in CMC Regulatory Affairs, but I'd love to know a lot more about, you know, the, the, you know, the, the regional requirements um, and, and, like, Health Canada, EU, globally, uh, and make sure I fully understand the history, you know, from the very beginning when all the laws were really set into place to now where you have, uh, you know, you, you just have everything kind of happening, but I think some, some people may take that for granted and, and um, they don't realize how much has had to happen and how much has had to be put into law, uh, you know, to get to where we are right now. So, um, so I, that's, what I, that's what really kind of drove me to, get, to uh, pursue the, the RIC. Um, I haven't gotten it yet. I plan to do it next year, uh, but definitely excited, you know, for the studying process and both, you know, have it over with eventually and, and be, you know, uh, just have the certification and, and that kind of record that I, that, you know, that, I'm, that I have that kind of level of knowledge. Yeah, definitely one of the most, uh, I guess, funniest thing I've learned is uh, one of the RIMSYS presentations where, you know, um, what we're going to take back to our uh, department is that we shouldn't use color-coded spreadsheets anymore. <laughs> and uh, we, should, we should try to have a system where there, it, you know, it feels like a source of truth and, uh, you know, we can back up what we say with with a direct formal record. Lives in a quality system, uh, and I mean it's been amazing here. You know, it's meeting all these new people. Ran into some old people that I met at previous conferences, so I've definitely enjoyed my my time.